April 20th, 2010. 41 miles off the Louisiana coast, the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, leased by BP, suffered a devastating blowout and exploded in the Gulf of Mexico. It was a very chaotic time. 11 people lost their lives. Many others were injured. It was catastrophic. Deepwater was probably the most complex and diverse oil spill in the history of oil spills. People were very prepared for another Exxon Valdez. They weren't prepared for this. While the Coast Guard searched for survivors from the air, response teams worked to contain the fire at the surface. But in the deep sea, nearly a mile beneath the rig, the largest offshore oil spill on record was just getting started. The first time I saw a video of the discharging oil head, it literally took my breath away. I realized how truly bad this was and how difficult it was going to be to stop the disaster that was unfolding. Turn speeds are posted. Number one engine. I've got the gear up. Over the next 87 days, BP's Macondo wellhead discharged roughly 134 million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. The unprecedented spill affected nearly 68,000 square miles of ocean surface and damaged 1,300 miles of shoreline across five states. Despite months of cleanup efforts, the spill became one of the largest environmental catastrophes in American history. I knew pretty early on that this was gonna be a marathon of sprint. It was one of the most intense periods of my scientific life. As a result of the developing spill, the Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative, or GOMRI, was created with a $500 million grant from BP for peer-reviewed, independent research on the impacts of the Deepwater Horizon disaster. The Gulf of Mexico Research Initiative just transformed our knowledge of the Gulf of Mexico. We started with a clean whiteboard to try to understand what we thought would be important 10 years from that point. So what would we have to know to have a better response to it? Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Wow. What was the extent of Deepwater Horizon's damage to ecosystems deep in the Gulf of Mexico? And are we prepared for the next big spill? <laughs> 